Hello and welcome back. Let's learn how to solve this problem. We are given the table shows how many pizzas Antonio's Pizza Shop can make in an hour. Complete the table. Write a function to represent the number of pizzas Antonio's Pizza Shop can make in X hours using function notation. What is a reasonable domain and range for the number of pizzas Antonio's can make? Typo. Okay, so there's a lot of information here. Let's take our time and break it down. We're given a table. It's not completely filled in. We're told to complete the table. Cool. Then we're told to write a function using function notation. A function notation would look something like this, for example. And then we need to determine a reasonable domain and range for this relationship here, the number of pizzas they can make in however many hours. Okay, so let's start with completing the table. This top row here for the number of hours, that's our domain, it goes one, two, blank, blank, five. So blanks are probably three and four. What about this second row here? That's our range. Well, it should be constant. So the difference here and here, here and here should be the same here and here and here and here. Okay, so 49 minus 31 is 18. 67 minus 49 is 18. So that means that 67 plus 18, this box would be 30, 85, excuse me. And then this box should be 31 minus 18, which is 13. Okay, this is our domain. Assuming they stop at five hours of work. And this is our range for if they stop at five hours of work. Okay, so we completed the table. Now we need to write a function to represent the number of pizzas Antonio's Pizza Shop can make in X hours. Okay, so that's the same as saying we need to write the equation of a line that passes through each of these points. Well, if we know the slope in the y-intercept, we can write the equation in slope-intercept form. We do know the slope. That's what this was. So we know the slope is 18. That would be the coefficient for x. What about the y-intercept? The y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0. So let's use y equals mx plus b. Substitute for this, this, and this and find b. Okay, well we can pick any point to plug in for our x comma y. So let's pick this one. So that means we have 13 is equal to, oops, 18 times 1 plus b minus 18 on both sides. And the y-intercept is negative 5. So here is our function in function notation to represent the number of pizzas that can be made in X hours. However, negative five is nowhere here. There's nowhere in here. There is no in zero hours they can make negative five pizzas. That doesn't make sense in this context. That's why the range starts at 13, not 12, not 10, not nine, not zero. The range starts at 13 and it goes up plus 18 every time. And that's it, we're done.